Hi, welcome to the eCamp channel. This is John. Today we are going to demonstrate one method to fabricate a freestanding activated carbon film, a counter electrode commonly used for energy storage research. The freestanding activated carbon film is made of 95 weight percent YP50F activated carbon and 5 weight percent polytetrafluoroethylene, also known as PTFE. PTFE serves as a binder in the freestanding film. Here we use polytetrafluoroethylene 60 weight percent dispersion in water. For this experiment, we also need ethanol, a glass vial, pipettes, a motor and pestle, two spatulas, a glass plate, a glass rod, a razor blade, and other accessories like king wipes, spill pads, weight bolts, tweezers, aluminum foil, and equipment including balance and oven. The goal here was to make a 0.5 gram freestanding film. After allocating our accessories and equipment, we first need to weigh the chemicals. We will measure PTFE first because we are using plastic pipettes and only have rust mass control with the number of droplets added. We shake the PTFE bottle to get a more homogeneous dispersion. A few drops of PTFE already give us more than 0.06 gram PTFE dispersions. That's more than what we wanted already, so we stopped here. The mass stabilized around 0.0686 gram. We need to do a bit of math here. So we measured 0.0686 gram of 60 weight percent PTFE solution. The question is what mass of activated carbon do we need to get to 95 weight percent carbon in the freestanding film? We can calculate the actual mass of PTFE with the weight percentage, which gives us 0.0412 grams. Because PTFE accounts for 5% of the freestanding film, the mass of the total film will be 0.823 grams. Since we wanted to make 0.5 gram of film initially, that shows 60% more mass on the film than I initially wanted because I added a few more drops of PTFE dispersions. With that, we can get 0.782 gram of YP50F carbon that we need to measure. Here we are with the measured out activated carbon and PTFE dispersive solution. We added all the activated carbon to the motor. Then we add ethanol to the vial to dilute the PTFE dispersion. We did a little bit of pipetting just to mix the ethanol with PTFE dispersion and add the mixed solution to activated carbon. We repeat this step to scavenge the remaining PTFE. The motor is almost full. We mix the activated carbon with the PTFE and ethanol dispersions with the pestle. Here we stir with the pestle until the ethanol is almost dry out. The process can take almost one hour. Some will replace this step by stirring the mixture with a magnetic stir bar overnight, which could also work out very nicely. The manual process just worked out better for me personally. Here are a few video clips showing different stages of evaporation. As the ethanol is almost out, we use a spatula to scrape carbon off from the pestle and the wall. We add a little bit of ethanol. Then we use two spatulas to mix the ethanol and the carbon, trying to make a single piece of carbon. In the beginning, it's very rough and does not have any structural integrity. After we fold and press this mixture of carbon, PDFE, and ethanol, it will get better. It seems quite dry, so we add more ethanol and repeat the folding and pressing process. Now this looks like one piece of carbon. Now we only add two to three drops of ethanol at a time to continue the process. This last bit of folding and pressing took about 10 minutes.
Now with a glass plate, we roll the carbon into a film. We clean the glass plate with ethanol first. We need a thicker rod to roll the carbon in the beginning. I couldn't find it, so we used a glass file instead. The first rolling led to a lot of cracks on the edges, but this piece is like a play doh now, so we can easily fix it by folding it back into a small chunk and adding a bit of ethanol. Repeating this a few times, you can get a carbon film. The next day, we can peel off the carbon film with a razor blade and a pair of tweezers. Heat treat the carbon film at 80 degrees Celsius overnight, your freestanding activated carbon film is ready. I hope this demonstration helps you learn how to make freestanding activated carbon film. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Many thanks to Dr. Jim Pedro and Dr. Irina Rosnik for helping record the videos. The demo is performed in the AJ Drexel Nanomaterials Institute at Drexel University. The videos in our eCam channel are only for educational purposes and knowledge sharing. Please subscribe, share, and like our videos to support our channel. Thank you for watching the video today. See you next time.